Hey Scorpio, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is a general reading. So if it doesn't make sense, do not force it to fit your situation, okay? Keep listening to your intuition, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you know, everything is going great. We're going to go ahead and get started on this reading and we're going to see what messages you guys have at this time, okay? Okay. So I see the Hierophant here, okay? Ten toes down, you're committed, okay? Um, I want to pull your person's energy. Your person's energy, thank you, Spirit. And then we have the Chariot, okay? So lock and key is what I'm hearing, wow. All right, so this is a yes on both sides. You're both committed, okay? You're both ready. Um... There may have been some bumps along the way, but you both know what's up. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Like, you both know what's up. You both know, like, this is a green light, okay? This is definitely a yes. So, if you've been having any or asking Spirit any questions about this person or whether or not you should move forward in this connection, I'm picking up on a yes, okay? Keep listening to your intuition, though. Um, I see this world card here. So this is telling me that you guys have come to um, a point in this connection. Um, you guys have overcome a lot of obstacles. All right. You've learned a lot of lessons here. So now you're ready. Okay. Some of you could be, um, you could be a Taurus or maybe dealing with a Taurus or... Cancer energy is here as well. I also have um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus again. Spirit, tell me about Hierophant, the collective's energy with this Hierophant card. Yeah, ascending is here. It says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay, so I feel like collective, you've been taking time to really work on yourself. Um, you know how they say like, you have to show yourself the love that you want to receive. So I feel like that's what you've been doing. You've been taking time to get your mind right, um, get your spirit right for a long-term relationship. And that's what's coming your way. Spirit, tell me about Chariot. Tell me about the Chariot for the Collective's person. Okay. Love. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. And then we have date here. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Ooh, okay. So I'm also seeing that you may meet this person in a park. Okay. You may meet this person out and about. This person may have pets. They may have two dogs. Um, you guys are going to hit it off. If you don't know this person or if you haven't met them yet... This feels like um, Spirit wants to just let you know you're on the right path. You're on you're on course to meeting this person or bumping into them. Okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Wow. You're attracting someone who is in the same energy as you. Okay? Spirit, tell me more about the collective's energy. New love, okay? It says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So you guys are definitely connecting to a new person here, all right? This is somebody that, you know, I feel like you're excited to get to know this person because I'm definitely smiling really hard behind this camera. I feel like, um, yeah, this person is like a breath of fresh air, okay? This person is very open as well. If they have any type of issues or setbacks. Okay, so this is not an issue in my opinion. But sometimes people may look at having children, okay, as an issue. Or maybe you take care of someone who is disabled. Or, you know, family. Like, I'm seeing that... This person is very upfront about their situation, okay? Just so that they don't waste time. You know, like, 
just want to let you know I have two kids. I have two dogs. You know, I hope that's not an issue for you. So this person is very honest and upfront. Tell me more spirit about this person. And I have one card with this chariot energy. Let's go ahead and get back into this reading. Let's pull out a card for your person over here. Spirit, tell me more. Alright. We have trust. It says the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Okay, so this is a message um, in regards to your person. They may be going through a situation currently that maybe other people won't be as accepting. Okay, so again, like, they may have children or they may be currently dealing with a situation that most people may be saying, like, oh, this is too much for me or I don't really want the drama. Okay, we're going to clarify that, though. Spirit, tell me more about the collective's person. Let's see. This person may be divorced. I'm seeing that too. Okay. Or they may have just, they may have gotten out of a relationship. Um, maybe the relationship didn't go well for them or whatever. Yeah. So there may, okay. <laughs> so the ex is still in the picture. Okay. So I want to say this the best way I can. The ex is still in the picture, but it feels like, it doesn't feel like they're together. It feels like, you know, they may have children together. Okay. Let's see though. It's just like an example. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. But I do feel like mm, they're being very honest. Okay. So that's a plus. This person is being open and honest about what they're going through because they know that people may like side eye them. Tell me more about the collective person. They're not hiding this, okay? But I do feel like this is, again, saying they are aware of, like, not everybody accepting them, okay? Tell me tell me more, Spirit, about the collective's person. So, for some of you, it is children. They have a child, okay? For whatever reason, they're still, they're kind of looking at that as a deal breaker, you know, like, then maybe a single parent, okay? Sometimes people look, I used to do that. Like when I became a single parent years ago, I was like, damn, like I know this is gonna be an issue for people, but the older I got, I realized like that's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's not an issue, you know? Like if you're trying to date and somebody is turning you down because you have children, then that means that that person is not for you. That's what that means. So that may be something that your person may be dealing with at this time. They may feel like, oh, I have children. I just got out of a relationship um, or I'm divorced. Nobody's going to want me. Like they have something that they're dealing with or, you know, experiencing. And I feel like um, spirit is letting your person know, this person that's coming up in your energy, that it's okay for them to trust you. Okay, it's okay for them to be open to dating. Okay, let's see how you, how what your energy is looking like. Spirit, tell me more about the collective at this time. Tell me more. <laughs> okay, five of swords reverse. We have the queen of cups and it's reverse as well. Hmm. Okay. So for some of you, this person, all right. So you know how I was saying like they're being open with their situation? I do feel like they're being open, but there is some type of miscommunication here at the same time, all right? There's something that this person is doing or saying, and I'm getting like, suspicion like you're very suspicious of this person so let's say for example it's a situation where they are in you know they they have other children or they have a child by another person and they're co-parenting you may have a you may feel weird about their relationship with their ex okay tell me about the spirit so there's some type of problem here tell me tell me about the queen of cups and the six of swords reverse 
more about that spirit. Yeah, so the moon is here, and then we have the eight of wands. Hmm. I see the two of wands here. You may feel a little overwhelmed in this connection, this new connection. I do feel like you really like this person, but you don't want the baggage that comes along with baby mama, baby daddy type of drama, which is 100% understandable. Okay, um... I would just say listen to, you know, listen to your intuition. Keep, you know, keep doing that. If you don't want to deal with this person, of course, you know you don't have to. But I do feel like there is something here. Let me keep pulling. The moon and the eight of wands. Spirit, tell me more about that. There may be a conversation that's coming up or there may be that. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see, Spirit. Tell me about the, the moon and the eight of wands. This may be like what you're feeling. You may feel like this person wants to get back with their ex. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about their person's ex? I'm not going to take all of these. It's too many. Spirit, what does the collective need to know? This, I'm asking this question because this is coming up in the reading and I just want to get more clarity for you. Okay. I don't normally like to like dig too deep in the past, but I, I just want to see what comes up, Spirit. What does the collective need to know about their person's ex? What do you need the collective to see about this situation? High Priestess, okay. Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there is something here that's not fully being revealed to you. And I feel like Spirit wants you to, you know, for sure keep listening to your intuition. Um, take your time to get to know this person, all right? This may be a new connection. You may have, yeah, new love here. So it's like, try not to jump to conclusions, all right? Especially if this person isn't giving you every single detail of their past relationship, okay? I feel like it's... it's Sometimes it can be easy to jump to conclusions, especially when you don't have all the details. But Spirit is saying, avoid doing that. Try not to dig too deep in this person's past or try not to, like, interrogate them. Some of you may be asking a lot of questions or maybe you're not asking questions and you're just doing a lot of research. This could be something that you're just, like, you're looking up your person's ex. That may not be a good thing to do because you may not... I see somebody just trying to understand who their person, who their ex, who this person's ex was. Like you're trying to do research on their ex. Okay, and you may have come across like photos or information that doesn't make sense to you. Okay, I don't know. I would just avoid that, you know, like. If, okay. Maybe this person doesn't want to talk about their ex. They don't want to, you know, talk about that situation because it, for whatever reason. Hmm. I don't know. Spirit, anything else with that? It's too many, Spirit. Anything else with that, the ex situation? It's over with the world card. It is over. person could be in the middle of moving out so they could have moved out recently yeah seven of swords so i i don't know i don't know exactly what it is it's a general reading so just take it how it fits but somebody is hung up on an ex or in a past person somebody wants more information or they want to know exactly what what happened somebody's trying to figure out what happened and i feel like you're not you're not completely getting all the answers that you want at this time i do see the tower here Okay, the Ace of Rods, the Fool, and I see the Four of Wands here. Mm. Just keep listening to, you know, your gut. Listen to your intuition, alright? Spirit, what else do you need the collective to know about this person that's coming up, Spirit? Queen of Rods here. I feel like you're dealing with someone who... Who does keep a lot to themselves with that four of 
pentacles here they may they may have trust issues because of their ex or they may still be trying to work through you know past situations like that that's something that's coming up all right this person may be yeah see like they're trying to put themselves out there they've been through a lot they don't want they don't want any more drama so if you're trying to pressure this person in any way to open up that's going to push them away all right so that's what that's what spirit needs you to see about this person that you're dealing with you could be connecting to an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i also have gemini i don't have gemini here but you could be dealing with the gemini i was trying to say um leo aries sagittarius all right spirit What other advice or other messages do you have for the collective dealing with uh, their person? Let's see. Strictly sexual. It says this connection is passionate but not enduring. Tell me about that spirit. Integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? This could be the ex that's coming up, the ex connection or relationship. They may have broken up because maybe your person wanted more from a relationship. Okay. They wanted someone who's more committed. More serious about being in a relationship. Play hard. It says find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Let's do one more. Children. It says children are important to this partnership, okay? So, yeah, your person could already have a family. You could already have, you know, children or whatever. And I feel like this person wants more for their children, okay? That's something else I'm picking up on. Maybe the ex was just in it for shallow reason, reasons or whatever. Um, I do feel like the more and more, if you decide to move forward with this person, the more and more time you guys spend together, get to know each other, you're going to understand, like, your person more that's just with anybody you spend time with them you'll get to know them because i feel like you're dealing with someone who can be a little bit closed off with that four of pentacles and you know maybe even um it's like they show interest or they go in and out hmm. like they test okay testing energy is here like let me see if this person really cares about me let me see if this i can really trust this person so that may be something that your person does they may give you a little bit just to see how <laughs> just to see how you're going to react like they may you know give you a little bit of information here and there just to see if they can trust you with that so you're dealing with someone who does have trust issues okay they're trying to work through it though all right and i do want somebody that is going to be able to um give as well as receive okay I'm seeing that here all right you guys i'm gonna leave this one here i hope that it was helpful thank you guys for your love and your support on this channel and i will talk to you guys later okay bye